there. Maybe got some strange recently. And we've all learned a great deal over these many years that he's been coming by periodically. Uh, some things terrifying. Some things very, well, all of it helpful. Uh, but Ryan Berglund will join us in about an hour. So if you've got a question for him, you can email it to me early. Otherwise, and we'll take your texts and all that. Weekend Cox, by the way, looking ahead to Sunday morning. If you're not able to join us for every single minute of this program live, you got a life to lead, right? Uh, condense it into two hours of the best stuff every Sunday morning. Uh, the Weekend Cox is 8 to 10. Bill and Poundcake, I think, are your hosts. Yep. This Sunday morning. We will be. And so you can uh, listen there early. Uh, Cavaliers tonight, they're on the road. They're going to play the Pelicans in New Orleans. Smoothie King Arena is where that's going to go down. Um, anybody had that? Uh, this dropped on Monday. The donut chicken sandwich no, that but KFC. I want it. Do you? I am such a. Uh, freak for like sweet and salty, like novel. Oh no, I like sweet and savory. Well, yes, granted, that's I why, really do, man. That's it's why perfect. these things work because so of you know. Good. I think that when we finally got around to having one of those Popeyes chicken sandwiches, and boy, those really kind those of really went away. Good, you know, <laughs> but they lived up to the hype, boy. Mm-hmm. When we I had those, had really one. good. But the donut chicken sandwich because America, America. Mm-hmm. Um, they went on sale Monday. And it's a big old piece of crispy chicken, and the buns are glazed donuts. This is one of these things that probably tastes amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. For two bites. For two, you're exactly yep. right. Yep. I could only handle two bites your of this. Your stomach and your cheeks. I all don't start. know who could handle one I'm of these. I'm gonna put hot sauce on it. K- Kentucky Fried Chicken and Donuts is uh, what it's called. An extra crispy chicken fillet between two donuts. And as I'm watching this. And as our news is being inundated with stories about the coronavirus, and health care is a huge issue, I'm like, you know, people might not be so susceptible to things if they weren't constantly decimating their own immune systems. You know what I mean? It's, true, yeah. it's one of these things where it's like, people that kind of have to... Well, not kind of. You have to take responsibility for the state of your own health, too. Yeah. That's not That's the American why. way. Well, listen, universal, you, I think you're right. I mm. mean, health care is a good idea. It's moral. It's just. But I understand why people are, are like, emotionally against it, too. Because, uh, you know, what's the old line? Why do I have to pay for somebody who doesn't take care of themselves? It's true. That's an extraordinarily short-sighted way to look at it, because we all end up paying for other people who are sick. And if we're all taking care of each other, which, again, not particularly American, ironically, it's usually the conservative types who want absolutely nothing to do with actually taking care of sick people. But, you know, a lot of people put no thought into their health. That's right. And then the coronavirus, people are freaking out about the coronavirus. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, a lot of people are going to get that for most of those people. One of us might get it, but it'll oh. manifest itself like a regular flu. It'll mm-hmm. suck, but we're not going to die. When you say that, Alan, you forget that 38% of people are keeping themselves safe by not drinking Corona. <laughs> yeah, right. Where did that statistic come from? I heard Jason say it earlier. It was in a news story this morning. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the C- you know, the CDC, they, they, they got their hands full of with coronavirus. Right. But they, they work on other things, too. And the CDC dropped a thing yesterday that said that the obesity rate in the United States now is over 40%. Oh my, okay, USA, but that's not fair. USA! They're going on a obesity BMI. rate based on the BMI. I don't know I'm, that they are. Yes, they are. How else are they going to measure it? All of the, all those statistics are heavily, heavily skewed. because it's I a, would hope that the CDC <laughs> has more uh, information at their disposal than something I can Google. Uh, well, no, that's all that it is. They go based off of the height and weight of the people, and if their BMI is over a certain number, then you're obese. I'm five foot two. The most a woman who is five foot two should weigh with it and it doesn't take anything else into consideration but the highest number it should be to be in a normal range is 116 pounds i know it's set really low like, so it's yeah. like i'm technically obese i'm 126 pounds and i'm, I'm technically obese you. but the point being and i think you've got a point So i'm in that 40 percent. i'm not obese but the point is is that there is a huge obesity problem no, i'm not going to disagree with States. that mm-hmm. and it also by the way makes a good case for paid sick leave A country like America, it's a goddamn travesty that this country, as wealthy as it is, doesn't have paid sick leave. Yeah. 
which is really going to screw a lot of people up when it comes well, to stuff like the coronavirus. You're going to have you're going to have people, I mean, the national minimum wage has not changed in 10 years. So you're going to have people who can't cover they can't afford a, a day off a clinic visit or yeah. a day off so or, they have know. to go to work and get people sick because they're like if i don't pick up the shift or if i don't go in i can't pay my bill these li- aren't these aren't people checking that. the stock market every day by the way i know there's people who all they care about is that but it's like retail or janitors or food service or all, yeah all those people you know when they're like if you're sick Wait, stay the start, home the stock market happens every day wait a minute whoa every, whoa 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 every day bill oh. every day i gotta change the way i do things I didn't know that either. So I feel like right now, it's an election year. There's a lot of stuff going on, but this is the perfect time to be talking about health care, to be talking about paid sick leave, to be talking about things but like that. And to how do we pay for it, Alan? I'm not paying for other people's health care. Well, Plain devil's advocate. No, I understand. But that's what a lot of people say. Yeah. There, there, is, that, there is very much that frontier um, mindset in American DNA. Mm-hmm. But then you can't walk around and tell me that everybody... You know, well, we're Americans and we band together and take we care, take of, care each of each other. No, we don't do that. Not. We no, don't, don't do that. No, no, Never have. And the, the the whole thing of I don't want to pay for somebody else being sick or being unhealthy. You do. You already do. You yeah. will pay for you're, it you're gonna in pay one way or another. One way or another. And this whole idea that health care should be tied into having a job, like or having it's, a job that yeah. you're at a certain number of hours right, a week. Right, yes. Because I've never had a job that I've worked consistently enough to qualify for health care. Right. There'd be, between two bartending jobs, there'd be weeks where I worked 70 hours. Yeah. And they're like, well, you take time off, so you only average like 23 hours a week, and we really need mm-hmm. you to have 32, or we just can't. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, so a place where I will work four back-to-back-to-back open to closes, but because I took two weeks off to go do stand-up, you, I can't. I don't qualify. Or if, and, and to make it more relatable, people that have to take off work because they have kids or, or stuff like that. Or whatever it might be. Yeah, and they have, you know. They, they can only work the a part The corporations will go out of their way to screw their employees out of giving them health care. It's unbelievable. And, I mean, coming, we were talking earlier in the show about how all of my family won't stop getting pregnant. Like, my, my family has a ton of kids. Mm-hmm. And... The like even things as maternity leave, where it's like a bartender doesn't get maternity leave. Like no. they'll give you however many weeks off, but they're like, hey, you can't really take more than three or four weeks. But and that's like, also Are you kidding me. But I think the people that resist the notion of universal health care also have a bit of a point when they're like, people have to be responsible for their own bodies too. Now a lot of people but get a lot, lot of people can't be responsible for their body because they can't go to the doctor. Well, but a lot of people also <laughs> are afflicted with things that aren't. They didn't cause themselves or whatever. Diabetes but I was or... just thinking about this whole thing as I'm watching this commercial for the donut chicken sandwich. You know, I'm like, you do have a level of response. You do have to take care of yourself no, to understand. the best of your ability you or whatever. You can't sit around right. in Limit my 600 like pound four. life. And... Don't, don't have more than four. Nothing touches my soul like a McGriddle. So I love I, I'm Never just saying. But how often what? do you eat them? Not that often, but when I get them, it's a treat. Right. That so was that's, my oh. hangover but that's the cure. key. To treat it like that, to to make it a treat and not something you're eating on a daily basis. I, w- I would have them every day. Are those if I the could. pancake sandwiches? Yeah, yeah. I, I would have them every day, but I don't get up early enough to get. Up. Oh wait, that's what's have? keeping you from having them every they day. Is you don't get up early. I think, they, I think they have them all day on on the McDonald's menu. So I you guess get I, up early to go to work. To go to work, I don't stop by McDonald's. Like I, I leave just enough time for me to get up, get ready, and <laughs> go to you're work. You're really determined. <laughs> if you really liked them. Uh, You'd get up a little bit earlier. Pancake is like the opposite of Mr. Extra Mile. <laughs> he does not go the extra mile. He goes a half any, a mile. In any capacity. <laughs> he won't He'll go... cut through lawns he, to go less miles. He won't get up a little bit early to get something to eat that he's just said... Touches my soul. Touches his soul. It molests my soul. Molests... <laughs> well, I don't want to eat anything that's going to molest my soul. Uh, First of all, the notion, try. Bill, a soul, mm-hmm. that is adorable. I know, right? Second hey, of all, hey. I know he's being uh, colloquial, whatever. But, but you've uh, never had a McGriddle, Alan. No, you I haven't. Mc- that is true. You, you know believe what? Here's in a what I will soul say. if you have a McGriddle. McGriddles were... <laughs> I'm telling were... you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what finally brings him that back to Christianity. That would be his come to Jesus moment. I'm telling you, he needs to have a McGriddle and he will see my point. <laughs> he takes a bite and starts speaking in <laughs> tongues. <laughs> no, no. No, no, That'll be my epiphany. He'll do the Shakira at the Super Bowl. 
I Yay, my son, da da dee dee I see Ko Shanta, la 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 That's you. Yay, my son, da da dee dee I see Ko Shanta, yeah. Thank uh, you, Jesus. How's Alan? He just had him a griddle. How <laughs> the NOLAN like emerges patty. RN while the university or the UN mi mission has whole received support from all patteries in the hues of the the garbins uh, of today excuse me i i had a mcgriddle and the <laughs> hues of the garbins were all over me I'm telling you man mcgriddles were my go-to hangover cure they were like perfect it's just a, just enough heavy and, baba and it's just it's not too big that's the thing it's not too big i had one completely sober not, not well, a couple months ago maybe and i thought i was gonna die i really thought i was <laughs> gonna probably die felt like a rock in your it stomach it felt like the way i described it was like you know how like if you're at the pool and you use a towel to lay out on or dry off with, and then it's like just heavy in a bag. It was like a heavy, <laughs> heavy towel sitting in my stomach. I can it was that. oh man, it oh, was man, not good. So they taste good. delicious, but oh I'm like, this is the most uncomfortable I've been. <laughs> now, speaking of food, speaking of America, obviously we can all agree if you don't if you don't like peeps, you hate America. Correct. Uh, <laughs> I People love peeps. Love. I hate America. I guess I hate America. That I, is a one. That's no one's kind of in the middle on peeps. Like you love peeps or you hate peeps. I don't mind them. I like. I'm them. in the middle. Really? I, I don't mind them. But you'll eat them every Easter. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, now they're coming out with a bunch of new flavors. Oh my god. So yeah, well, you're right. Let me Most know when they come out with the first one. <laughs> it's marshmallow, marshmallow flavor. It's not. Do you like marshmallows? No, not enough. Well, to, then there you go. Not. A, but like, I, I I'll eat a regular marshmallow before I eat a peep. Peeps are terrible. They're not. Now, it's, why? It's, it's like a sugar-covered marshmallow. It's not good. And if you let them get stale, that's when they're good. Yeah, you crunch it a little, a little bit. Stale. Like a so circus peanut. Why are people so... Those are bad, too. Why do people hate peeps so much? I don't know. Just the, the they're marshmallows. That's gross. all that it is. It's not good. But not even chocolate-covered peeps? I've never I mean, had it, one of those. I'll just have something else that's chocolate-covered. Oh, my with, God. But with marshmallow in it. So but you, see, that's you don't the like thing. Like, I'll, I'll have like a mallow cup. I like that. Never have but one. I don't that's like not a, a marshmallow, though. That's I'm, not there, the same consistency. It's, it's like Peeps took what marshmallows should be and wrecked it. They just covered them in sugar, though. Dude. It's, but it's not, it doesn't taste like a regular marshmallow. Oh. Idea. I'm sure this has been done before. You take a chocolate-covered Peep and make a s'more with it? That would be amazing. Isn't that a moon pie? Is it? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> it might be a moon pie. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got high before so, you yeah. figured it out. <laughs> Peeps... Have they're getting ready to drop because Easter's coming up? Obviously, they're getting ready to drop a whole bunch of new flavors. Fruit Loops. Ooh! Stop me when you've had enough. Hot tamale Stop. cinnamon. Yeah. Raspberry dipped in cream fudge. Love that. Root beer float. Sure. Chocolate pudding. Perfect. All right. There you the go. The only one's a hot tamale, but I'm not a fan of that candy. Chocolate so. like it's chocolate pudding flavored, or yeah. does it have chocolate pudding in it? Chocolate pudding bunnies. Ooh. Because you can flavored. get them bunnies, and you know. So there you go. I'm Team Peep. See, Peep is another thing. Like, and it must just be that when these um, companies buy other products, like Pepsi buys another company that makes fifty things, and then they go, "Let's do." You know, it must just be the conglomeration, the consolidation of these companies, because Peeps are like Oreos, where they had one flavor for two hundred years, and now they have a new one every hour. Mm -hmm. So Peeps, they're like, "Oh, we've got coffee creamer and jelly beans and whatever." So you either uh, love Peeps. Or you hate them. Again, yeah. I consider not myself a, a peep centrist. Not a peep yeah. guy. I am. Mm -hmm. It's like people don't like coconut. If you don't like coconut, I do too, but if you don't like coconut, you're not going to eat anything with coconut in it. People who hate peeps, I assume it's because they don't like marshmallow. Since and that's, that's 99% like of the... But that's 99% like of the... Do you, though? Would you eat a marshmallow straight out of the bag? Yeah. You would? I've done it. So th that's all that a peep is. It's just covered in sugar. It doesn't... But it, it's not the same. It is. There's something different about it. It's exactly it. the same. It's, it's not. It's shaped like a bird. What do you got against birds? You birds aren't real. They're birds not aren't real. real. Yeah, I'm not going to eat some drone. <laughs> It's not going to eat a candy made out of something that's not real. Mm -hmm. Alan Root Beer Peeps are awesome. I just I sent know, you my review on Instagram. <laughs> hey, All right, thanks. You See, go. you're getting peep pics. I'm think, getting peep reviews on Instagram. Peeps, maybe, yeah. it, maybe it's the sugar that ruins it. I don't know. Maybe it makes it too sweet. Or I think it's, well, it makes it like that gritty, I don't like granulated the for sure. type of texture to it. Yeah, I don't like that. But that's the I haven't problem. had a peep in a long time either. Peeps for dinner. Peeps for dinner. Mm -mm. Alan McDonald's just released a fried chicken McGriddle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a fried chicken McGriddle. That sounds so am I, good. Am I interrupting him from something? What's he doing over there? What are you doing over there? Stop tweeting hoes on Twitter. In the really? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm over here. Oh, am I boring I'm you? I'm over here talking. You're not. On Twitter. Well, what are you doing? 
Nothing, I'm sorry. He's daydreaming. Hello? They're trying to win a prize. Hi. You're still calling for Hello? Hi, I'm Jake. This is, my name's Sam. It's uh, Alan. You're on the air. Oh, Alan. Oh, hey. Oh, um, long-time listener, first-time caller. Hey, Thank you. Know. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, about the, uh, peeps on a s'more, it's a horrible idea. <laughs> I trust you. Why? <laughs> um, if you heat up a peep, the sugar will burn you. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but there are there are people who found a way to do it because they'll toast peeps, I've seen. Wow, well, I don't know. I just know from personal experience that it is a bad idea for your mouth. You have a giant, uh, b b you have a giant uh, burn mark on your face now, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, good. Thank you. That's useful information that I will put to good use. Thank you. A fried... <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a guy. That. No, Call to win a prize. You're over there on Twitter. You don't even know what the people are doing on the phone. Uh, a fry... Well, I... What does he do? What are you doing over there? Well, I just checked my phone, but like... Why I... are you on your... Why are you on Twitter Cause... while I'm talking? Wait, it went off. I'm sorry. So what? Just... What are you, a five-year-old? Put it in your pocket. I... Yes, my bad. It's a Twitch. It, it, like, Am what... I boring you? No. Then what are you doing? I'm sorry. Am I wrong here? No, no. you're not wrong mm -hmm. at all. He's on Twitter in the mm -hmm. middle of the show. He was peeping them tweets. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I said something to it him. Didn't help. Uh, he, he's got this look on his face. Headphones off. <laughs> I Twitter. Can I can There's still phones hear you. ringing. Huh? I can still hear you. I then why are your headphones off? I could still hear you. Then why are they off? Because I was off. I if was you can hear me either way, why are they off? Why are they ever on or off? Because... It, it usually hurts my ears, but like when I'm on, when I'm answering phones, it like his ears. it hurts, hurts your ears. Yeah, yeah I don't like to keep. Man, he's never gonna make it. He's never gonna make it. I just have the volume up too loud, but I could turn it down. <laughs> the phone's ringing. Yeah, guy is trying to win a prize. I pick it up, and it's a guy talking to me about peeps. I answer the phone for like the first 15 minutes after we come back from break, so I just. <laughs> Thank you. First 15 well, minutes, we come back from yeah. break. He's answering phones. Okay, sorry. So you, we talk about things through the whole break, though the whole segment so uh, shouldn't you answer the phone one person called out of like the the hundreds that i was answering trying to win they're trying to win a I'm, gonna I'm gonna keep your phone in here during the show mm -hmm. how That's about fine. that you can do that it probably helps. i don't want way. to he's a grown man why would i need to take he's not you're not a toddler i got a kid i got a four-year-old at home i don't need one at work too I heard about the chicken, <laughs> the fried chicken McGriddle. Don't try and change the subject. subject. I'm yelling at you. I, right was, I wasn't paying attention, though. You weren't. Well, yeah, you were, I but was. I mean, but I, could, I, I had the volume. I could perfectly but hear why you. Why are you looking at Twitter when I'm talking? My uh, my apologies. It was a force of habit. So I will keep it in my pocket. I will put it over there. I will not look at God it God knows how many times he's doing this, and I don't notice it. You want me to do a super cut? <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera all the time now. We can go through footage of any show and find you I'm, doing I'm other going. stuff than. Man, this kid. He's not even a kid. You're pushing 30. What are you doing? I love you, and but you want, God bless America. And you want your own radio show. It's not going to get it. You're not, I hate to break it to you. You're never going to get it. You're never going to make it in this business. You're not. I hope you like picking up phones. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't. He only he does doesn't. it for 15 I, I'm picking minutes. Him up. <laughs> I'm picking up phones 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, is it ready? You got 15 minutes to get that call yeah, in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, uh, all right. That, you don't have to yeah, say anything. Yeah, I, 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 I don't yeah, have anything fine. to say. You're no, right. Yeah, I know. I know. I got a break. I feel like I'm in fifth grade. I'm just like, ooh. No, listen. <laughs> I uh, listen. Not yet. I've always said the same thing to anyone who has ever worked on this program with me, all right? This is not a teaching hospital. It's a learning hospital? No. It's not a, I'm not here to teach anybody how to do anything, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh... Well, you've taught me how to shut off my heart. <laughs> <laughs> <Does that help? laughs> 
<laughs> I'm much more cynical. <laughs> I, think all, I think all the McGriddles did that. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody emailed me early in the show, and they were like, what'd you do to Mary? When she used to sit in, she was so sweet and nice. I'm like, she's being exposed to a lot more Jaguars. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't just get to float through life like, everything's pretty, and I love God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it go, does a thing to a young no, gal. that's real. <laughs> love is fake. <laughs> Maybe they're right. No, I don't it's know. real and love is <laughs> He actually fake. started thinking about things critically. You're like, uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't that weird how that happens to people when they yeah. actually start questioning things? They go, uh, oh, I didn't have the answers after all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie do. Uh, yeah. One book isn't the only it's answer. It's dating Dang. and ladies and Jesus and guys. <laughs> all right, good. Uh, I've got a break, and um, I'm going to have uh, corn tickets for you shortly. They're doing Blossom. They're doing a co-headlining thing with Faith No More. In the fall, Dr. Ryan Berglund's going to be here later on. And three more keys before we get out of here tonight.